What's up, future respiratory therapists? Hey, today we're gonna to be talking about the non-rebreather mask. Now, the things you need to remember about this mask are that this is a low flow device. You really have no idea how much FiO2 you're actually delivering to your patient, despite the fact that a lot of people think it delivers 100%. Egan states that it really only delivers about 60 to 80%. Now, what you need to know about this mask is if you'll take these one-way valves off, there's three of them, one here, one here and one here. If you take these off, then now it becomes a partial rebreather. That's gonna deliver around 40 to 60%. Now, I don't know why you would ever wanna do that. In my opinion, if you need a device like this, I would turn to a high flow nasal cannula such as Vaprotherm or Aervo, but that's just me. But nonetheless, here's what you need to know. This bag should remain inflated throughout all of inspiration. Partial deflation is okay, but complete collapse is not. Average is easy, don't be it.